Clearly not. Jeff, if you're trying to solve that, those things are impossible. They're only for smart people. Well, then I guess I am smart people. But Jeff, you actually solved it? Well, Danny, I may be slow, but I solved this hoe. And since I solved this Rubik, I'm going to smack this pubic. What? Jeffy, can I mess it up so you can try solving it again? Sure, mommy. No, oh, Jeffy, seriously, how'd you solve that? Dang, it's easy. All you gotta do is match the colors together. Okay, Jeffy, here you go. All right, watch me work. It doesn't even look like he's solving it. It looks like he's messing it up. Dunion rings. But you solved it again. It only took you like 10 seconds. 10 seconds? That's not even my fastest time. I can solve it in four seconds. Four seconds, Jeffy? That's amazing. You could set a world record. Yeah, I am pretty smart. <gasps> Daddy, there's cheese in my ear? What type of cheese do you think it is? I think it might be a sharp cheddar. Ew! Definitely a Velveeta. No, Jeffy, that's not cheese. That's earwax. When's the last time you cleaned your ears, Jeffy? You're supposed to clean your ears? I thought your ears were for hearing. <sighs> Baby, go get him a Q-tip. Okay. All right, Jeffy. These are Q-tips. Q-tips? What do I do with these? You put it in your ear. In my ear? Mm. Yeah, like that. Now you move it around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, deeper. Jeffy, be careful. You're going to hurt your eardrum. Yeah, Jeffy, you don't want to push it too far. You might hurt your ear. <laughs> Daddy, look. I made a cheese stick. No, Jeffy, you're not supposed to mm. eat it. Mm. Dang, that was so good. It was blue cheese. Package it up. Jeffy, that's not cheese. That's earwax. You're not supposed to eat that. But, Danny, I have an unlimited supply of cheese in my ear. It's cheese for the whole world. Jeffy, it's not cheese for the whole world. It's earwax. Everyone has that in their ear. Daddy, Baker's dozen as fuck. What oh, Jeffy? Oh. Marvin, I'm going to get him a glass of water if he's going to keep eating his earwax. He needs to stop eating his earwax. It can't be healthy. Well, eventually it'll run out, right? <sighs> we can hope. All right, Daddy, I got a factory in overdrive. Everyone's about to have cheese for days. <sighs> Go get the water. Okay. All right, Jeffy, I brought you a water. Mommy, check out my cheese sticks. I even made a cheese pyramid. Ew! Jeffy, get all this earwax off the couch. Hold on, Daddy, I got one more good one. I got to get really deep in there. You're going to hurt your ear. Marvin, how has he not run out of earwax yet? I have no idea. <laughs> Daddy, what's this pink stuff? Look, Jeffy, it looks like a piece of your brain. My brain? Oh, my God, Marvin, we have to call a doctor. Okay, I'm going to call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor? Ooh, cheese sticks. That's not cheese. Oh, God, that's just earwax on a Q-tip. Why didn't anybody tell me? Because I thought you were smart since you're a doctor. Not all doctors are smart, okay? I cheated to get where I am. Like, there was this fat bitch in front of me in college named Abby. I just copied off her. She's a much more successful doctor than I am. Yet fat, so I'm winning. Anyway, what do you guys need? So Jeffy was playing with a Q-tip and he dug out a piece of his brain. Okay, look, that's impossible, okay? He'd have to break through his eardrum, which would be extremely painful, and then the Q-tip would touch his skull, and then once it got through to his inner ear, it would cause extreme pain, dizziness, and vomiting, okay? There's no way that would be an accident. It would have to be on purpose. Well, he was doing it on purpose. He was trying to shove it as deep as he could in his ear. <sighs> okay, let me go get my autoscope. All right, let me take a look in there. Oh, yeah, there's a big chunk of his brain missing. Wait, so that is his brain? Yeah, that's his brain on the Q-tip there. Is he gonna die? I don't know. How you feel, Jeffy? <laughs> is that normal? Yeah, he normally acts like that. Oh, well, look, he'll be just fine then. Look, the brain is so big, you don't need all of it. That little piece on the Q-tip, that's probably like one memory. He'll be okay. So you think it's just one memory? Oh, yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah! Is that a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, Jeffy can solve a Rubik's Cube in four seconds. Whoa, that's gotta be a world record. You should enter him into the National Annual Rubik's Cube Solvatron competition. What's that? Well, it's where a bunch of these dorks who don't get any pussy and have rolling backpacks get together to see who can solve a Rubik's Cube the fastest. I mean, no females are allowed within 500 miles of the competition, but first place gets a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays and a million dollar cash prize. A million dollars just to solve a Rubik's Cube? Yeah, I mean, they're mostly just doing it for the gift card because a million dollars is still not enough to get them laid. They're just gonna spend the money to buy more Rubik's Cubes, but yeah. I can't believe, Jeffy, you can make a million dollars just to solve this. Well, I mean, second place, you still get $500,000, and third place gets 100000 but fourth place gets you executed by firing squad. They kill you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can still come in fifth place. You get 10000 for that, but fourth place, no, they will kill you. They do not tolerate mediocrity. So as long as Jeffy gets first, second, third, or fifth, he gets money? Yeah, yeah, just don't come in fourth. That would be bad. Oh my god, Jeffy's gonna totally win that competition because he can solve a ruse in four seconds. So, so when is it? Uh, it's in two hours, but it's 500 miles away. Marvin, we We'd have to travel 250 miles per hour to get there in time. Our car doesn't go that fast. Okay, I'll let you guys borrow my rocket ship. Thank you. Hello, 
and welcome to the annual National Rubik's Cube Solvatron Competition! We have the biggest nerds in the world here protecting their virginities by trying to solve Rubik's Cubes as fast as they can! The competition will begin shortly! Hmm? I'll get it. Hello? Trick or treat. We're here for the Rubik's Cube competition. Is that a girl? Yeah. Tell her to get the hell out of here. What? Why? Because none of these boys in here have ever seen a girl before, and if they do, they might cream their bridges. Baby, just go wait in the rocket ship. Aww. Can we come in now? What's the password? Oh, Rubik's Cube dick. Come on in. What? All right, Jeffy, you ready to beat these kids? Yeah, I'll beat the shit out of all these kids. Which kid you want me to hit first? No, not beat them up. I meant beat them in solving a Rubik's Cube. What's up, fresh meat? Haven't seen you around here before. So, what's your best time? Best time? Yeah, your best time is solving a Rubik's Cube. It. Oh, well, I don't solve Rubik's Cubes, but Jeffy's best time is four seconds. Four seconds? He might win first place this year. Really? Yeah, you see that kid down there? His name is Jackie Two. He wins first place almost every year. He's a super Asian. And then, beside him, that's Dontavious Rex. Me? He has a 12 inch wiener. I saw it in the shower one day after cube practice. You have showers here? Oh yeah, this competition gets super intense. And then beside him, that's Cody. He's gay. It's true. Well, Jeffy's gonna try to win first place. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I go for last place every year. Easiest 10 grand of my life. Ooh, but my buddy last year, Fred, he died by firing squad because he got fourth place. And then, the year before that, my other buddy, he got banned for life. How'd he get banned? Because he, he brought a girl. Someone say girl. Shut up, Dontavious. Keep your weight on your pants. Damn. Ugh. Okay, well, um, why are girls not allowed? Girls aren't allowed because the last time a girl was here, everyone's pants got filled with cream cheese. So, why don't you cube? Oh, I just don't know how. Ha! You hear that, everyone? This guy doesn't know how to cube! <laughs> what a fucking loser. Hell pathetic meat. Oh, come on, Jeffy. All right, everyone, we're ready to start the competition. So here's how this is going to work. Everyone's going to come up, and we're going to time how fast you can finish a Rubik's Cube. The person with the fastest time wins a million dollars and a $25 gift card to QB Tuesdays. The person who comes in fourth place gets murdered. Now, first up is our newcomer, Jeffy. Okay, Jeffy, I'll start the timer by hitting the space bar, and when you're done with the Rubik's Cube, I'll stop the timer by hitting the space bar again. And I'll let you know what your time was. The world record is 3.13 seconds. On your mark, get set, go! What am I supposed to do with this? Well, you didn't get the record, but keep going. Jeffy, hurry up and solve it! I don't know what this is! I've never seen one of these before in my life! Jeffy, don't screw with me! You solved it earlier! I did? What? Yes, Jeffy, solve it! I don't even know what this is! What? Oh my god! Do you think that part of your brain you pulled out was the part that made you solve a Rubik's Cube? It has to be, because I've never seen one of these before in my life! Uh, mister, he doesn't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But what? Yeah, he, I thought he did, but he doesn't know how to do it anymore. Well, then why the hell would you come to a Rubik's Cube competition? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll have to give you fifth place. He has $10,000. Just like that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Come on, Jeffy, let's go. And up next we have Cody Nutkiss. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah, come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Wow, what a snooze fest. Done! Wow, 6.9 seconds! <laughs> 69! And up next we have Dontavious Rex! On your mark, get set, go! Shit, shit! Oh, shit. that's gonna cost him some time! Come on, kid, hurry up! Done! Not my best time! Mother will not be pleased! Are, are you gonna finish it? Just one second! Okay, I think that's good enough to get a nice, smooth fifth place. Well, congratulations, you came in fourth. What? Time to die! No, no, please! I swear I'll do better! Please! And last, we have the defending champion, Jackie Two! On your mark, get set, go! Done! Everybody can suck my wiener! Holy moly, he broke the world record! You get first place! Oh, I'm so full. Maybe just one more. Hey, how was the competition? Uh, no, before you ask, I did not eat the earwax off of these Q-tips. That would be disgusting. Little did they know I did. 
I am one sick son of a bitch. I even ate the earwax pyramid. <laughs> and I kept some in my pocket as a little snack for later. <laughs> I wonder how many carbs there are in earwax. So, so how was the competition? Oh, uh, it was good. We came in fifth place, so we got $10,000. Oh, nice. I feel bad for the guy who came in fourth, though. Yeah, so you know that piece of brain that Jeffy pulled out? Well, that part of his brain was the part of his brain that knew how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Oh, that sucks. Well, how'd you like my rocket ship? It was cozy. It was very fast. Well, yeah, it's a rocket ship. And uh, the fuel for that bitch is pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, I think one gallon costs about $10,000. Oh, looky there, 10 grand, what a coincidence. But no, I don't have to pay for your gas. Hey, I gave you my rocket ship. I gotta pay for the gas somehow. Don't be a douche. Oh my God, how do you feel, Jeffy? That all that was for nothing. Well, Danny, if you wanna make money, I got a cheese factory in my ear and a chocolate factory in my ass. Hey, uh, I've been trying to call my brother Jonathan. Anybody see him? Like, like, was he at the Rubik's Cube competition? Because he's usually there. Well, he said he always got fifth place, and this year we got fifth place, so... Oh, oh man, guys, I'm so glad we decided to sit around and eat our favorite candy today. Wait, dude, what kind of candy is that? You've never heard of goobers? They're chocolate-covered nuts. They're amazing. Hey, Junior, I got some nuts for you, but they're not chocolate-covered. More like flesh. What's up, my Snickers? Get it? Like my candy bar? I like Reese's. Hey, 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 everybody, listen up. Nobody lay a finger on my Butterfinger, got it? Okay. Good. Hey guys, you wanna play basketball? Yeah, let's go play basketball! Yeah, let's yeah. play two on two! All right guys, we're gonna play two on two. So it's gonna be me and Junior versus Cody and Jeffy. But that's not fair, I suck at basketball. He's right, Joseph, he does suck at basketball. One of us should play with Cody because we're really good. How about you? What, why do I have to play with the nerd? Because you have a darker skin complexion, Joseph, which means you're good at basketball. <sighs> you are right, I am a god at basketball. So the best player at basketball has to play with the worst player, the whitest kid here, which is Cody. I guess it's me and Cody versus Junior and Jeffy then. All right, so first person to get one basketball Basket wins. But that's a short game. If you don't want to play basketball, just say so. What did they go? <laughs> Where's Jeffy Block Joseph? I'm what? trying. Oh, dude, Cody, open up! Catch! I got it, I got it! Oh no! Butterfingers! Grab it, Jeffy, grab it! Grab it, grab it! No! Oh. Oh. Whoa! Get ducked on! This is my house, bitch! Woo! We won! Cody! Dude, what the hell was that? You're supposed to catch the ball! I'm sorry, Joseph. I just ate a Butterfingers and now my fingers are all buttery. No excuses! I never lose at basketball! You're not my friend anymore! Yeah. Uh, Joseph, my Butterfingers. <sighs> Joseph, don't be mad. It's not my fault. It's the Butterfingers. No, don't blame that Butterfinger. You're just ass. You're ass at basketball. You should be nowhere near a court. Well, I mean, I am ass at basketball. I guess you could say I'm asketball. Guys, calm down. Let's just watch TV. Cody, can you turn the TV on? Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, damn it. Dude! What, how'd you drop the remote, Cody? It's the Butterfingers, I told you. Oh, go wash your hands, dude. Yeah, wash your hands, Cody. Okay, fine. Let me grab the remote. Okay, let me wash my hands. Damn it, I can't seem to grab it. Come on, hands, grab the handle. Damn it, they're still slippery from the Butterfingers. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Okay, guys, I'm back. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Uh -huh. I did. Well, we just ordered pizza. Yeah, dude, we're starving. Oh, good, because that Butterfinger was just a snack. Yeah, the pizza will be here any second. <gasps> It's here! Yay! Cody, can you go grab it? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. Uh, it's your house. Shouldn't you grab it? Well, you wash your hands, right? It, yeah. So you could grab the pizza, right? Uh, maybe. Cody, come on. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey there, I have a pepperoni pizza and some cheese sticks for a junior. That's me! All right, that'll be $10, please. Here you go. Oh, sir, if you could just please crumple that up and just throw it in the yard. You want me to crumple up the money and throw it in the yard? Yeah, because that way it'll be like a game when I have to go find it later. Okay. Yay! If you could just grab your Pepsi now, please. Cody, can you grab the pizza? Yeah. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind grabbing that pizza, I don't have the energy to bring the pizza inside for you right now. If you didn't notice my search button, because the last lady's house I went to, she didn't have money to pay for your pizza. So she paid me in another way. She gave me raspberries and beat me up. It was so hot. So if you can just grab this pizza, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll try. Grab the pizza, Cody. Uh, 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 what? You dropped the pizza, Cody! Hey, no refunds! Uh, my Butterfingers, Junior, my Butterfingers! Did you wash your hands? I lied! Uh, oh, man! Wait, what happened, dude? Cody dropped the pizza on the ground! What? You were supposed to wash your hands, bro! I couldn't turn the faucet on! Well, thanks, Cody, for ruining our pizza, because I'm not eating carpet pizza! Shit, I eat this carpet pizza! <laughs> I eat pizza out of dumpster! <laughs> Come on, Cody, let's go ask Chef PB to cook us something else. Okay. Chef PB, can you make us something to eat? Ah! Julia, get in the fire extinguisher! The kitchen's on fire! 
Cody, grab the fire extinguisher to the pantry. Really? Me? Yes, grab it, Cody! The house is the, the... No, grab it, Cody! Damn, put some pep in your cell! Grab it! Fine. Where is the stupid fire extinguisher? Oh, there it is. Oh, god damn it. Ah! Holy shit, there's a fire! Good thing I got cups of water. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Okay, here you go. Fire neutral light. Wait, hold on, there's a little tiny... Oh god! Okay, there we go. Now the fire's neutralized. Thank you so much, firefighter. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, guys, I cannot pick up that fire extinguisher. Too late, Cody. The fire department already came and put out the fire. Yeah, no thanks to you, Cody. We all could have died and it would have been your fault. Well, hey, if you wanted the fire extinguisher that bad, you could have gotten it yourself. Oh, I could strangle you right now. Hey, Chef Baby, can you make us something to eat? We're hungry. I'm not making anything else. The rum is burnt. Look, you better order something. I give up. Oh, come on, Cody. Dude, what was all that noise downstairs? I heard screaming. Well, there was a fire in the kitchen, but Cody wouldn't grab the fire extinguisher. What? Dude, do you want us all to die? I couldn't grab the fire extinguisher because of my Butterfingers. Bro, I'm getting tired of this Butterfingers excuse. Me too, Cody. What are we going to eat now? Oh, dude, um, I'm kind of full off this carpet pizza. Yeah, and I still have my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, damn it. My Butterfingers. That's it, Cody. Come with me to the bathroom. I'm going to wash your hands. Please. Please do that. And I'm gonna eat this piece of crust in frustration. Mm. Come on, Cody. We're gonna scrub your fingers till they're squeaky clean. Good. Junior! Come downstairs! I need your help right now! Hold on, Dad! Don't tell me to hold on! Not in my house! Come downstairs right now! Come on, Cody. My dad needs me. What do you want, Dad? I want you to meet your great-grandmother, Janice. See? These are her ashes. Wait, why are there two vases? Oh, that's because Janice was a big bitch. See, we needed two vases, almost three, but we just left a little bit behind. <laughs> Who's gonna know, right? <laughs> that's cool. So what do you want us to do, Dad? I need you to take your great-grandmother upstairs to my room so I can see her and remember her. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, everybody's gonna carry a vase, all right? Oh, I, I can't hold it. I don't wanna hear that! You carrying something in my house! So you'll carry the big one since you wanna complain. I don't think I No, can. no, you better carry it! You better carry it, girl! Ah! 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 my grandmother, Cody, I hate you! I'm sorry. Cody, let's get out of here. No, 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 you ain't going nowhere. Though. You look, look, grab my grandma right here. You taking a small face since you want to mess up. Uh, listen, dog, it's just going to happen again. I don't want to hear that shit. Take my grandma upstairs, boy. Yay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that one's on you, though. Jesus. Grandma, you are all on the floor. Cody, I think it would be best if you just go home. Can you please help me wash my hands first? Wait, what happened now? Cody dropped the ashes of my great grandma. Jesus, just tell us you hate people already. Somebody please help me wash my hands. I am begging you. All right, Cody, we're gonna go straight to the bathroom. Nothing's gonna distract us. Let's go. There's someone at the door. No, no, we wash my hands first. That's rude. You're just gonna leave somebody at the door just waiting? Yeah, Cody, that's rude. You have no manners. That's what's wrong with you. Come on. I need to wash my hands. Uh, hold on, Cody. I gotta tie my shoe. You answer the door. Okay. Hello? Hey there. I'm Steve Stalberger, and you're on the hit TV show, Hold That Baby. Oh, no. Junior, I can't hold the baby right now. You do it. Sorry, Sonny. We chose you. All you have to do is hold the baby for five seconds, and you'll win $10,000. $10, so let's see what baby you're holding today. Tommy Pickles! Oh no, not Tommy Pickles! All you have to do is hold him for five seconds. Go on! Uh, I can't. Are you refusing to hold this adorable baby on live television? Uh, no, no, I like babies. Well, you wouldn't want all of America to think you're a baby hater, do you? N no. Well, go on, hold him! <laughs> Did you just drop the baby? Yeah. You're a baby dropper! Everybody, boo him! Boo! Junior, I can't believe I just dropped Tommy Pickles on national television. Oh, dude, I saw that. That was so crazy. Everybody hates you, man. Not me! I loved it! <laughs> You're such a bitch, Angelica. Get out of here. Go play with your doll or something. Sit Gosh, she's so weird. She plays with dolls. I'm just gonna grab Ken and get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, damn it! I can't even hold on to Ken! Look, Cody, we're gonna go wash your hands once and for all. Oh, thank you, Junior. Look, just hold on to my hands so nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, Cody, this is the only bar of soap we have in the whole house. You all use the same bar of soap? Yeah, it's the family bar of soap. We don't want to waste any money, so we just take that bar of soap and rub it between our butt cheeks. Wait, what is this, the Great Depression? You can't afford more soap? Look, Cody, just pick up that bar of soap and wash your hands with it. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, 
<laughs> now I'll never clean my butter fingers. That's it, Cody. Put your hand under the water. Junior, what's that? water's not gonna get the butter off these fingers. It's just gonna make them more buttery. Well, we don't have any soap unless you want to grab it from the toilet. No. So you're not gonna wash your hands? I can't. Oh, okay, you know what? That's it. Get your stupid Ken doll and leave. <laughs> okay, Cody, pick up Ken and leave. But I'm just gonna drop him again. Wait, he didn't wash his hands? He dropped the bar soap in the toilet. Oh, dude, there's no hope for him. Just bite into him and pick him up. But I don't want to put teeth marks in him. Usually I'm pretty good about not using my teeth. But I guess it's the only way. He's too heavy, I can't do it. Pick him up with your hands. Okay, I'll try. Okay, I can do this. Damn it, it's not gonna work. All right, Cody, I don't know what to tell you. You dropped the bar soap, I can't help you. Junior, I have an idea. It's a little weird, but it will work. What? I need you to suck the butter off my fingers. Oh, I ain't with that freaky shit, bro. Oh, no, Cody, what do I get out of it? I, I'll give you 50 bucks. Show me the money. Okay. Uh, there it is. I mean, he didn't say money was on the line now. Okay, Cody, I'll do it. Just hurry up. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> boner alert. Boner alert. I have a boner. Shut up, Cody. Give me the other hand. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I'm into this. I think I discovered a new kink. <laughs> <sighs> okay, it's done. Okay, let's see if it worked. <gasps> it worked! I don't have butter fingers anymore! Uh, quick question. Why can't you lick your own fingers? What? Why couldn't he lick his own fingers to get the butter off, dude? Why did you have to do it? Junior, I didn't have butter fingers all day. I just wanted you to suck my fingers. I have a boner. Honey, your food's almost ready. Smells great, honey. I can't wait to eat it. Oh, I'll get it. I'm coming. Jeez. Hello. Wow. Uh, honey, are you okay? Don't worry. He's gonna be just fine. Ah! Come here. All right, Simmons. I spy with my little eye something red. Uh, is it this little triangle? No. Uh, what about this little heat thing? Yep, that's it. All right, your turn. All right, I spy with my little eye something blue. Um, is it my shirt? No. Is it your shirt? No. Is it the light strip there? No. Uh, is it the cold setting? No. Huh, okay, I give up. It's your eyes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just can't stop looking at them. I can't stop looking at yours. Oh, really? Attention all units, we have a noise complaint 1716 Camel Cooch Way. <sighs> Come on, Simmons, let's respond to this noise complaint. Uh, all right. Tell me where your money and jewelry is or I'm gonna kill both of you. I don't really remember. You hit me in the head with a baseball bat. All right, you! Tell me where it is! It's under the mattress! You better not be lying. Don't move. Honey, call the cops. I can't. I'm a little tied up at the moment. How did I get roped into this? All right, Simmons, let's get this over with. I like knocking like that. Open up, police! We got a noise complaint! Help us, please! Oh my god, Simmons, they're calling for help in there. Let's go! You go first. No, you go first. No, you go ahead, buddy. No, I insist. You go ahead. No, age before beauty. No, but you're in charge here, mate. You go ahead. No, come on. Pearls before swine. Go ahead. No, you outrank me. You go ahead. Look, I'm not going in there first. I'm not going in there first. Okay, tell you what. Let's flip a coin. Heads, I go first. Tails, you go first. Okay. Crap, it was heads. Thank God you're here! Yeah, sorry it took so long. We were flipping a coin outside. I didn't want to go first. So who tied you up like this? He did! Huh? Please tell me, is he gonna make it? Hey there, there's no easy way to say this, but he's not gonna make it. No, please, doctor, please. There has to be something you can do. Save my partner's life. I'm sorry, he was shot in the heart. <sighs> Nobody can survive that. He's gone. No! Hey, guy. Oh, hey, Chief. How you feeling? Can't you read the mug? Shitty. 
I, I know there's a happy poop on the mug, but they didn't have a mug with a sad poop on it. Really, I just wanted a mug with a poop on it. I, I didn't really want a face, but that's all they had. So th There's actually nothing in the mug. I, I'm just trying to be dramatic because I'm sad that my partner died. <sighs> Gary, how do you think Simmons would feel if he saw you moping about him like this? My partner can't feel anything. He's dead. <sighs> Gary, come on back to the office. I have a surprise for you. Is, is it a sad poop mug? No, it's even better. Come on. Okay. Okay, guy. I know you're sad about losing your partner, so I'm assigning you a new one. Oh, come on, Chief. I don't need a new partner. Simmons was the only partner for me. Nobody could replace him. But you haven't even met the little guy yet. What? Little guy? Oh, come on, Chief. Don't tell me you hired a midget. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to go so slow just for him to keep up with me with his stubby little legs. People are gonna think I brought my son to work. It's just gonna be hilarious. Meet Officer Cuddlesworth! Oh, who's a good boy? You are. Yes, you are. Really, Chief? A dog? That's who you get to replace Simmons? That's just insulting. But he's such a good boy. He can smell drugs and bombs. He'll protect you. No, thanks, Chief. I think I'm better off on my own. Well, you don't have a choice. This is your new partner, and that's in order. Oh, come on, Chief. The... <sighs> what do you want? What, what, what do you... What? what? This? You, you stupid little toy donut? <laughs> what, 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 what do you want me to do? Throw it? <laughs> oh, okay. Go <laughs> ahead. I didn't even throw it, you idiot! Yeah, you're gonna make a real great detective. <laughs> Come on, you stupid mutt, let's get in the car. <laughs> All right, Stinky, this is my car, so no poo-poos or pee-pees in my car, got it? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. What, what, you want your stupid little toy? <laughs> well, this is not playtime, this is work time. You can have this once we catch a bad guy, okay? <laughs> oh, that man's speeding! You wanna pull someone over, boy? Huh, you wanna pull him over? <laughs> oh, he's a good boy, let's pull him over! Come on, let's get him! <laughs> All right, boy. We're gonna walk up to his car, and if you see a weapon, you chew his face off. Got it? Oh, Mr. Cuddlesworth, you're pissing in my car! What did I say? No pissing in the car! Bad! Bad, Mr. Cuddlesworth! Bad! I might as well you finish at this point. Jesus. Now my whole car's gonna smell like piss. Why don't you piss in his car? He's the bad guy, huh? How about you piss in his car if you have any piss left? You done? Okay, let's go get him. Excuse me, sir. I see you got a case of the Zoomies. Why were you going so fast? Well, I actually have a date tonight. You? Yeah, I swiped right on a couple baddies. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Cullsworth. I'm sorry, I think he wants to shit in your car. See, he just pissed all over mine, so that's the only thing I can reasonably assume. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Mr. <laughs> Cullsworth? <laughs> Get away from his trunk, you weirdo. It's weird. He's barking at your trunk. Why would he be doing that? You got like dog treats in there or something? Well, not exactly dog treats. Okay, I don't really like the way you said that. I'm gonna check your trunk. Oh no, you don't. Ow! 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 Help me, Mr. Cuddlesworth! Help me! Ow! 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 Alright, let's see what's inside this trunk. Help me! Help me! Help me! Oh my god! His trunk is filthy! And also, you're little Billy Williams! You've been missing for three weeks! Nobody could find you! Thank you so much for saving me, Mr. Well, don't thank me. Thank Mr. Cuddlesworth! You hear that, Mr. Cuddlesworth? You're a hero! <laughs> thank you, Mr. Cuddlesworth! Officer Gary, you and your partner are just dynamite! You rescued a boy that had been missing for three weeks! Oh, sir, don't jerk me off! It was all Officer Cuddlesworth over there! And he's pissing. I, I didn't think he had any left in him. But you know what? He earned that piss! Well, I'm promoting both of you to lieutenant! What, really, sir? I mean, my pay's gonna go up a whole 50 cents. Are you sure the department can afford it? Well, we don't pay him because he's a dog, so I think we'll be just fine. Now you two get out there and kick some criminal ass! Wow, you know what, Mr. Cuddlesworth? I think I was wrong about you. You really are a good boy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's go clean up these streets! <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? Notice anything different about me, huh? You like to hit yourself? No, someone stole the pencil out of my nose! No one stole the pencil out of your nose, Jeffy. You probably just lost it. No, someone stole the pencil out of my nose! Was it you, huh, Baldy? What? No, I didn't steal it, Jeffy. Was it you, Mommy, huh? No, Jeffy! Well, since no one will admit to who stole the pencil out of my nose, I'm gonna call the cops! Well, don't call the cops, Jeffy. That's a waste of resource. <sighs> Hey there, someone call the cops? Yes, officer, I think my son did. What, you got a dog? Oh yeah, that's my new partner, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth. Why is he smelling my butt? He's looking for crack. Huh? Oh, you get it? Like your butt crack, but also hard drugs? Well, what happened to your old partner? Oh, God, Simmons, why? He died. Aww. He died in my arms. It was very tragic. I still have nightmares about it. Thanks for reminding me. So what do you want? Someone stole your pencil out of my nose. What? Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, what are you doing? Now it's not playtime. This is Work time. No, 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 you give me this toy. You give me this toy. God damn it. 
Okay, we'll play fetch one time, okay? <laughs> Go get it! <laughs> okay, it's still not very bright. Okay, what's up? Someone stole your pencil out of my nose! Oh, okay, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, smell his nose and see if you can get the scent of that pencil. <laughs> but, oh, he's he's pooping. He's pooping in my house? Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll, I'll clean it up. Ew, 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 it's so squishy. I can't resist the urge to squeeze it. Uh, what do I do with it? Well, throw it away in the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom's so far away. I'm just gonna stuff it in your couch. Well, don't, don't do that! Well, it's too late. I already did it. So what's up? Are you guys gonna find the pigeon or not? Oh, yeah, right. That, okay, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, smell his nose and get the scent of that pencil. <laughs> I think he's got it. You, you got the pencil, boy? You get it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, what is that? That's not a pencil. That's another toy, you little rascal. You give me that. You give me this toy. Oh, are you going to find my son's pencil or not? Uh, look, man, I got a pencil out in my car. You just want me to give him that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go grab that until you found it. Uh-oh, Jeffy, I think he found your pencil. <gasps> he found my pencil? Is this your pencil? <gasps> it is! Thank you for finding my pencil, mister! Yep, that's what I do. Now, don't call me again unless it's a real emergency. Oh, we, we, we won't call you unless it's an emergency, officer. You hear that, Jeffy? <laughs> Come on, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth. Let's get you a puppy ice cream. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Everybody freeze! Give me all your money! You! Yeah, ain't you the cop that I iced the other night? That was my partner! Oh yeah? Well, prepare to join us! No, don't shoot! You shot my dog! No, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, please don't die! I'm gonna kill you! No, Lieutenant Cuddlesworth, you can't die! Please, I can't lose another partner again! <laughs> No! Oh, he'll be all right, mate. No, he won't, Simmons. He got shot. He's dead, just like y you. Wait, Simmons, how are you alive? It was just a Nerf bullet, mate. It's not a real gun. Really? Well, that means that Mr. Cuddlesworth is okay too. No. What? But what? You were just playing dead? You learned a new trick? Oh, you're such a good boy. I'm so glad I have my partners back. Hey, you want to go piss in the car? <laughs> Guys, calm down. Yes, these are my tech decks. PJ, where'd you get tech decks at? Oh, my mom got them for me. His mom! His mom got his mom got his mom got his mom got Oh, PJ, we have to see you play with it, please! I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tired. No, please! I want to see you play! Please, please! Okay, okay, I'll play with it. I made the score just in time. Hey, what's everyone looking at? PJ, I would totally kiss you for your tech deck. I would marry you for your tech deck. You guys don't even want to know what I do to him for a tech deck. Hey guys, what's going on? PJ Crenshaw brought tech decks to school. What are tech decks? What? You don't know what a tech deck is? Dude, it's the coolest toy ever. How do you not know what a tech deck is? Like this. I don't know what a tech deck is. Well, if you don't know what a tech deck is, you have to get out of here. Now, hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's educate the poor fool. Jeffy, a tech deck is a little miniature skateboard that you ride with your fingers. Tech decks are the epitome of cool. They are the ultimate symbol of cool. Tech decks are all about bringing them to school and making it your entire personality. It says, I may not know how to ride a skateboard, but my fingers do. And if my fingers can ride a skateboard, then the ladies know what else they can do. Ah! My bunghole. Well, can I borrow one of your tech decks? What? You can't borrow a PJ tech deck. That's unheard of. Asking to borrow somebody's tech deck is like asking to bang their mom. No, hold on, guys. PJ never deprives someone of an opportunity to be cool. Jeffy, you can borrow my tech deck. What? You want to borrow a tech deck? But only for a day. Jeffy, you have to bring me the tech deck back tomorrow at school. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You got to borrow a PJ tech deck. That's never happened in the history of that one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. you're so cool. Now run along home. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was sick, Daddy. This kid named PJ let me borrow his tech dick. What? Yeah, it's a little mini skateboard that you finger. I'm really good at fingering, Daddy. Fingering's my favorite. Je Je Jeffy, I wouldn't say that anymore. Look, if you're going to play with your little mini skateboard, play with it somewhere else. Okay, Daddy, but first, can I show you a trick I learned? It took me forever to learn this trick. Oh, sure. Ready? Yeah. Ow, Jeffy, you hit me in the face of your stupid skateboard. You know what I think about this? Ugh. Why would you throw that? If something happens to it, I'm gonna be the biggest loser in school! <sighs> I can't believe I have to vacuum the whole house. God! Cleaner. 
Jack. No, it was the mini little skateboard. Open the thing. With the skateboard? <clears throat> Here, Jeffy. I think I found it. Thanks, Chef BB. I can't let anything happen to it for the rest of the night. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Andrew. I hate taking the bus to school. Me too. But you still have PJ's tech deck? Sure do, and it's in pristine condition. Okay, good. Yeah, I can't wait to give it back to him. It's been stressing me out ever since he gave it to me. Yeah, it's gotta be stressful holding on to something so valuable. Hey, losers. What, what do you want, bully? Wait, what's that? It's a tech deck. Give me that. Hey! Hey, get back! Hey, you want it? Go get it. What? Oh, no, the bus is coming! <laughs> Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy! Go get the tech deck! Go get the tech deck! Okay. <laughs> Is the tech deck okay, Jeffy? Does it look like it's okay, Junior? Oh my god, it's broken! PJ's gonna kill you! I know, Junior! I cannot go to school today! Oh, okay, we're, we're not gonna get on the bus. We're gonna take this thing inside and try to fix it. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, here. Hey! Where are you kids going? You get your ass on the bus! You're gonna be ready for school! What? Hey, Junior and Jeffy didn't get on the bus! Oh man, they're skipping school and didn't invite us? Hold on, Joseph. I'm gonna see what's going on. Uh, hey, I'm getting off the bus. Why are you getting off the bus? You gotta go to school! Uh, I have to poop outside. Uh, I'll meet you at school. Okay. All right, Jeffy, all the pieces are right here. We have to put it back together. How, Junior, how? There's like a million pieces right here. There's more pieces right here than there are ants in the world. Okay, well, that's not even close to being correct. But, but look, Jeffy, we have to put this back together because if PJ found out you broke his tech deck, he's going to hate you, and he's going to hate me because I know you. Hey, guys, when'd you skip school? Oh, Cody, thank God you're here. Look, the school bus ran over PJ's tech deck. What? Junior, do you know what this means? If PJ finds out, he's going to hate Jeffy, and then he's going to hate us because we're associated with Jeffy. So we got to think of a plan, Cody. Help! Okay, think, think. Oop, I did a little toot, I did a little brain toot. You mean a brain fart? No, Junior, I don't say the word fart, that's disgusting. I say toot, it's a nice cute little petite word, a petite toot. You know, if you're at dinner and you pass gas, you can just say, sorry everyone, I tooted, and then everyone will be fine with that, they'll just keep eating. But if you say, sorry everyone, I just blew a big stinky dirty fart right out of my unwiped ass, then nobody's gonna wanna keep eating, that's just gross. You know, a toot's like a nice little purr that comes out of your ass, like, like you got a kitten in your ass. I just let out a big stinky shit cloud right out of my rectal hole. Yeah, see, that's inappropriate. Look, can we get back to the tech deck? We gotta fix this! Oh yeah, the thing that made me toot in the first place. Oh, look, how about we just go to the store and buy a tech deck that looks just like this? Oh, wow, Junior, that's actually a really a good idea, and you didn't even have to toot to think of it. Yeah, let's go to the store, come on! Okay. Okay, guys, here's the tech deck. Okay, look for it. It has a snake on it with red wheels. Uh, do you see one, Jeffy? No, I don't see it, Junior. Uh, come on, guys. Hey, kids, can I help you find something? Uh, yes, mister. We're looking for a tech deck that has a snake on it with red wheels. We broke our other one, and we want one just like it. Oh, well, I hate to tell you this, kids, but no two tech decks look exactly the same. What? So there's not one that looks just like the one we broke? No, each one's one of a kind. What? Well, what are we going to do? Oh, well, I guess you're kind of screwed. I mean, you could get one of these kits and try to fix the one you have. Oh, well, you could fix it with this kit? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, come on. Go, go grab this. Come on. <laughs> I love you so much, PJ! So much. Ladies, ladies, shut up! I'm stressing about my tech deck. That kid should be here by now. What's up, PJ? Hey, where's your friend? You know the one with the helmet? He's supposed to bring me back my tech deck. Uh, they missed the bus, but they should be on their way, though. Oh, call him. Huh? Call him! The P and PJ doesn't stand for patient. Okay, I'll call him, PJ. Okay, guys, we have all these tools, so let's try to put it back together. What? What are you doing, Jeffy? Sorry, I thought I was helping. No, you just lost all the pieces. Cody, find the pieces. Hold on, my phone's ringing. It's Joseph. Hello? Hey, dude, where's Jeffy? PJ's asking for his tech deck. Uh, there's kind of a situation going on. What situation? Stinky, stinky shit fart. Wait, wait, somebody's constipated? Wait, no, no, Jeffy just grabbed the phone. Look, the, the tech deck is broken. Wait, broken? What do you mean broken? That's PJ's favorite tech deck. He's gonna kill us. Uh, I know, I know. We're, we're, we're trying to fix it. I just need you to stall and, and, and tell PJ everything's okay. Stall? How do you want me to stall? Stick it in my squirrel caboose! Okay, I'm not doing that. Oh, uh, listen, listen, just stall PJ and we'll call you back. Just stall him, stall him. Okay! All right, guys, we gotta fix this. Hurry, hurry, hurry! PJ, I really like your pink tech deck. Whatever. Uh, PJ? Hey, where's your friend with my tech deck? Um, um, he had a doctor's appointment, but he will be here by the end of the day. Hmm, that kind of pisses PJ off. I can't focus in class without all three of my tech decks. Oh, I, I promise he's on his way, though. He better be. <sighs> Okay, guys, it's put that together. What, Junior, it doesn't look anything like it looked before. Look, it has the wheels on it. It doesn't matter, the wheels were red before. The wheels on the bus go round and round. But look, no, I thought it'd be cool if all the wheels were different colors. It doesn't matter if it's cool, Junior, the wheels have to be red. Okay, fine, I'll change all the wheels to red. I just thought it would be sick. And that cross is why you don't run with scissors. That does it for today's lesson. You all can go home.
See you tomorrow, PJ. Hasta mañana. Bye. W what the frick, man? What? Your friend never came back with the tech deck. Oh, uh, he must have got stuck in traffic. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna kill your friend. Huh? Okay, Cody. I added the red wheels on the tech deck. It looks good, right? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like it did. Oh, no, Junior, that top looks terrible. Well, there's nothing we can do about the top, Cody. These other boards have different designs on them, so we can't change that out. Guys, 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 PJ's coming! Oh, me too, Daddy! No, he's coming for the tent deck! Oh, guys, hide all the materials! Go, go, hide, 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 Okay, all the pieces are cleaned up. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm gonna go hide. But, Cody, come back! Hey, bro, you never came back with my tech deck, bro. Because I was still playing with it, bro. <gasps> Oh, don't mock PJ! Uh, PJ, he, he didn't mean to mock you. Uh, your tech deck is right here. Wait, wait a minute. What's with all these scratches? Oh, the, the, the scratches, uh, they're... You know what? Don't tell me. I already know. You do? Yeah. You were shredding the fuck out of this thing. Man, that's totally Narnar Banks. Man, your fingers must have been bleeding from shredding this hard. Yeah, I was finger dealing that board so hard, it was like a girl's Arby's roast beef sandwich. I was giving it that horsey sauce, like... <laughs> Yeah, damn right you were. Oh, man. You know what? I don't even shred this hard on my tech decks. You know what? Keep it. It's yours, champ. I don't want it. It's broken. It got ran over by a bus. Yeah, a bus full of fingers. You know what, kid? You're not so bad. Keep on shredding. Guys, what just happened? Well, PJ did not notice that his tech deck was broken. He thought those scratches were from Jeffy playing with it too hard. Oh, that makes sense. My thing looks like that when I play with it too hard. So, Jeffy, you get to keep one of PJ's tech decks. And PJ still thinks we're cool. Uh-oh, I have to pee. What? what? Cody, you being really weird just randomly leaving the scene. Like, doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Hey, guys, I found that tech deck you were looking for. What? You told me no two tech decks look the same. Oh, yeah, I just lied so you'd spend more money at Target. You know that kit you bought? It was three times the price of this one. But it worked. The boss gave me a huge promo. Oh, man, this tech deck is so cool. Whoever was playing with this was Narnar Binks. I gotta try it out. Oh, man, look at my hand. I'm like Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk's hands. Tony Hawk hands. Tony hands. Tony Hand Hawk. John Hancock signed the Declaration of Independence in 1776. Fuck yeah, I did.